I decided if it's I just spent ten with another video this time and and we're gonna be doing a review of the Legacy Falcon Zord from My Power Rangers and My Power Rangers the movie. And besides just realizing that one of the wings is uh, on the cliff, and as far as like not all the way pushed in, I just let me say it's kind of hard to fit this in here right now. now at least as far as just my my current one, and you know what? Let's forget. I was gonna think of having my the Ninja Megazord in, but now I'm just gonna have to. But but yeah. So uh, like I said in my Ninja Megazord review, I was gonna review this thing before I went out to job one. As far as the time when I get this up, it's gonna be like later in the night, and I'm gonna be uh, be honestly at least getting the the little like just um projects. Projects well as far as iMovie cases just made and every everything, and and then and then when I get back I'm gonna export one, one while I get seven eight and then upload upload one of them and then export the other one and then I'm gonna and then after both uploads are done I'm gonna always do do one of them or at least just do the one video I'm meaning to do and that's mostly the where Legacy Red Ranger helmet review and not. And like I said, mostly just gonna be possibly doing that just in face cam, but mostly, but trying to at least film it here. But, but going on with this review, um, honestly, there's no box, so again, honestly, I'm gonna just go straight right into this. But I've had this since like in between 2015 and 2017. I'm just get kind of guessing when they released this because um, it was like in between during the time. Of the 2015s, which I think was when Megaforce or Dino Charge was going on, I'm just guessing at this point. Like I said, and when in between, and then when the 2017 movie, Power Rangers movie came out, I'm literally just guessing because I can't completely remember when this release was released. And again, no box. I, I really would like to well, let me show you the box because it just looks cool and everything. Again, also this is based off the movie, even though. Now, this again appeared in the show. Well, this appear this Megas are appeared in the movie first, then the show. But like I said, enough talking. Let's go on with the with the Falcon Sword. So going on on to the review of the Falcon Sword. Let's just say first the wingspan is very very good on this figure. Of course, I think it's just just again the same as the original toy. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. But again, it's just crazy. Um, as far as all the detailing goes, again, we're just going to the Falcon Zord, so we're just doing this all right now. Um, we got all just the Gunmetal Gray, which I'm... I don't know, the Silver or Gunmetal Gray? This m might be Silver, this is probably Gunmetal Gray. Hey, we got the Silver for the wings right here, which is... There's a little, like, um... I don't know, scratch or, or something, maybe, right? A few scratches here and there, but most of that. And then also this had, like, a ton of dust on it, but then again, I've had this for a long while. But yeah, we ha have like the silver and the gunmetal the wings, and then we have the gunmetal gray for the barrel, for like the barrel parts, and then we have the red here, which, um, there's not really too much die cast in this. I think there's only one thing that's die cast, and that is the talents here. So again, obviously moving this forward, um, here are just the barrels right here. They don't have any lights or anything like that. This is all pl plastic right here, so I still be careful. This I will say it now, and then we also have some green and gold and black. Well, we have some gold and black on this side, and then we have the green like down here. If you can see it, yeah, but probably do. So, and then we also have some black up here on the top part of the wings. We have some black just in the these inner part of the body, and same thing black here. Um, same thing on the other side. All right, and then we have some silver on the legs here. And then we have some just the gold, which this is actually the die cast. I think if I... Yeah, you can hear that, it's die cast, so... Yeah, the, the, the only thing is the talons, and that's it. And, it's, and like I said, we have some gold right here for the, like the sim area, since again, this is based off of more of the Japanese um toy. Only, but... Here's the back, which it looks pretty cool too. We have again just the gold. Besides having the black and gold on the wings part, we have the black for the this part of the, the wings, and then right here we also have some some like tabs here, which um 
which um, can never be actually used because again, I never did in a few things, um, which I'll go over later. Um, here is just on the air side here. Again, nothing too much. Again, you have some molding right here. The switch is going into the 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 um the head. We also got the tail feathers back here, and just the molding, and then some gold here. Again, the tail feathers are pretty good, and I also have some like just shifting back and forth, which again I'll go on the articulation part of the review. And then we go into the head, which looks pretty cool too. Also, again, there's some gold and then some black right here. But here's just the head. Um, looks pretty good. Um, also I'll just pulling up the wings for a bit so I can just show you. No. No, and there is just some gold for the beak, and then we have the red black eyes with silver. So that last maybe gun all gray, but then we got some silver on the edges of the head, and then we got some silver right here, along with some black and silver right here. Again, as far as all the detailings, that looks pretty good. But, um, just for the most part. Going over the um, the articulation part of the view. Besides, I'm going to actually go all the way, uh, and also be like this, and then this, and then you can just go all the way up so I can do flying poses. And just go straight up flying. Ding. Um, the legs can go up this far and then this far back. Um, a little hindered by the f tail feather, but again, can't, don't really want to go too far. And then also the feet can swivel around. And then also the talons here can, uh, again, just to show you again, can swivel around. And then like this, and then like I said, the talons can go inwards, and, and the cool thing about this, you can actually just hold this onto a branch. Uh, I, I, I didn't do it, but, but um, Bruno from NPR Toys ha did actually do it, so when this first came out and stuff, when when this first review of the Falcon Megazor, the Falcon Zord at least. At least, and like I said, pretty much that's it for the legs part, but also the head can move up this far, and then this far up, and also the beak can open with a little tab part. Parts and so you can just go up that far. Or so you can open his mouth. Stuff like that. Just um, go all the way in. And like I said, you can just shift that far. So you can just have full, fully up. And like I said, the tail feathers can only move that far. So you can only slap like as like a stabilizer. And, or you can just sit perfectly right, like this. The wings are kind of like the, the big part of it. And not only can it, it can, just like the original toy, you can shift forward. So you can just, um, forward and also act like this. So you can act like he's shooting the bad guy. And I just realized that you guys can't see too much, but you know, like shooting the bad guy like in the movie and the show. And then also it can go all this far and then go this far back. back. Um, don't think it go all the way in backwards, but that's most part, um, like I said, there's like, like some tabs here for the the kind of non-existent Shogun Megazord because again, they obviously didn't release it at all. Um, even if, and but again, like I said, mostly just that. And then also an added thing, you can also pull this out a little bit. I'm trying to not pull out the whole thing, but there is some possible way of happening. You can pull out this part here. And then you can just, so you can just actually articulate the wings a bit more. Or like this. I will say it's a little finicky in some times, but again, mostly it's that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation part of the review. Like I said, besides these tabs here, which honestly you can't really use at all because they never made it to show the Megazord, like I said. But on the plus point, I still like it. Now let's go on to the final part, the almost final part of the review, and that is the Ninja Falcon Zord. Megazord. Oh. And the Ninja Megazord and prep and basically just getting the complete wait um Falcon Zord ready. Um obviously this is gonna be a little bit a little bit eh, hard to do, but again like I said like in the first in the Ninja Me Megazord review we got the the little tabs on the back and then we got these little indents right here and you can see it just well I let me just pull this up real quick. You got the little indents right here. Again, just folding this back in. You basically just slide this up. Up right here, which I'm pretty sure. 
I'm get, I got them in the indents and not the... Yeah, I got them both in the indents. Well, which I'm pretty sure this is all straight right here, but here, I will say it now, but um, just to like, full, like shift it around and and there you go, we got the Ninja Falcons Megazord. And yeah, it's still a pretty cool combination. I will admit I don't, I, I had it on like this for a while, but then I unclipped it just to be safe and not so this won't fall off and possibly scratch this up. And at least the Falcons are in both, or just both. But yeah, if you have, if I had like a stand, I could show you. But again, I haven't gotten any stand yet. Um, but you can, you can move the arm, which again, I'm mostly moving this arm because it's not, not hitting the, it's not hitting the, the um. This is this is the one that doesn't move, have this part move, and then all of a sudden again we have the and I just move the arm, the leg forward of the and uh, of course again. But it's once again. Well, you can just have it like this. This, if you have like a stand. But obviously, I don't have a stand, so I'm gonna move it all the way back down, down, and move this back down. And I, I will say it's a little finicky, a little bit, but not, not if you just don't move it too much. And arms and just every everything, and you can see just it's just shifting around a bit. And so. Like I said, and and it just if you move it around too much, you can be a little bit cocked eye eyed and then just stuff like that. I will say the other side is kind of like a little bothersome, but I don't know. I just think it's still completely straight as far as the most part. If I can just cool, I'm gonna unclip it after I I cut off for a bit for the final thoughts. And like I said, as far as this combination, it's still pretty good. But on to the final. So thoughts. now, obviously, to my final thoughts of the review, and I. St Still kind of stand by to most of the Legacy Collection. The only, and I still like it. I still like to have like just these different Megazords that and stuff like I I don't I never got. And I'm still, I'm still want to get a Tiger Megazord for the most part, and then get the Thunder Megazord. Even though it's, I will admit the Thunder Megazord isn't that great either. But again, it was still really good to have it at least. Least um, but if those reviews come, that was a little bit questionable. But as far as this and the Falcon Zord, I. I really do like both of them. I love to have both. I like to have both of them. Both of them. I'm really glad to have both of them. So I will say it now. The combined mode is a little bothersome with the little finicky around and stuff like that. With just those two tabs and not like 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 clips or something on the lines of that. I don't know. It's just a, It's just if you have like that problem with the arm, just don't move it. I just move like this. I mostly just move this arm at least. Least, but like I said, I like the wingspan. I like the little added bonus with moving, just um, unhinging these things, and so you can move these, so you can just act like actual wings. I will say that now. But yeah, I, as far as the most part, I if I do recommend, I kind of do recommend the, the, these. But again, and going on to like what I said in the last review, it just depends on how much it might be like super expensive by now because. It was these were released back when Toys R Us were still around. So, and if to look for them like in 2021 and onward, it's gonna be like very very hard unless they dropped in price recently. I'm literally just guessing at this point. I, I don't know. There's some legacy stuff that's like very still very very reasonable priced. Nice, but again, it just depends on it. Also, I they have like the, the tabs and stuff because this is obviously for the. In the front and then in the back here, and in the back, like I said, that I showed earlier, which is obviously for the Shogun Megazord, but they never released it. And um, they just basically just they basically just were jumping like around a bunch of things, and then and they moved on to Zio, and then it didn't bother giving us a Shogun Megazord or a tour, even though I don't think people really cared about it. 
or the Toro Zor, but again, I don't the Shell Zor, but again, I don't think anyone cared about that thing. I mean, at all. But that, uh, but again, as far as like just recommending this thing, it's just if you can find it for a reasonable price, and if you're a diehard fan of the movie, most, mostly not, on season three, or just Cocker Ranger in general. Those are my only reasons to buy. My only recommendation to buy this thing, but it's still pretty good for other people that had some issues. Like, but like I said, this could fall off with this or with the, this moving and everything. And like I said, this size is the, the only one that's moving, and I just you just have to hold it if you're moving it. That's kind of like the one thing. And and like I said, everything about this is pro and the Falcon Star is pretty cool, but that is basically it. Like I said. And like I said, I only recommend this if you really. Also, I forgot to mention this. You can also use this as as an advantage with having this in combination. But I, I don't, like I said, I only recommend this if you can find it for a reasonable price. That's and if you're just diehard Mind Morphin fan or just diehard Cocker Ranger fan, if you don't have the the original Megazord and then the original um, Japanese version. But that's literally my only reason to recommend this. And this is guys for this is if you like this video. Comment down below. Sorry if I'm going all around. Because I'm trying to go very quickly. Wait, sorry if I am doing that, but remember to like, comment down below what you guys think of the the the, the legacy about Falcon Sword. What do you think of this combination? Did you have any like I said, did you have any problems with the, the this this inner arm moving and this messing up this combination in general? Oh, um, do, do you have the Falcon Sword? What do you think of it? Um, do you wish they waste release the um the Shogun Megazord or at least um and then. And stuff, just stuff like that, and and just any comment down anything. Just remember to be nice and not play any weird links. And then remember to subscribe, tap the little bell. More videos coming soon. I got two more doing today. At least just to finish off my morph in May. Hey, uh, and like I said, with the legacy, the legacy Red Ranger helmet, and then the and then the um the the um Dragon Evolution three figure. Or line clutch figure. And that is it. And the size of the team. We're kicking out of here.